everyone. I'm so excited to tell you about this podcast. It's called The DK Project, but it's really The Darren Show. So thanks for tuning in. You're going to want to sit back, buckle up, and enjoy the ride. Let's go! Let's go, boys! <laughs> Let's go, boys! How about that, huh? That's my that's my hockey mom of the year right there. Get the puck deep, boys! Does anything <laughs> sound more Minnesota hockey mom than that? Not really. I'm telling you, she's a gas. I got I to gotta talk to her. I... Uh, may have pirated some of this audio, but she'll be fine with she'll it. She'll be all right. I, I cut out all the incriminating stuff where she talks bad about my kid and stuff. Oh, and other kids? Yes. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I was playing it for the for the boss, and she's like, did you cut out all that one stuff? I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> there was nothing there. It was pretty funny, though, because I uh, we're down to two games left of the season. Mm. Two games left of the season. I brought the skates in today to get them sharpened. And I find out that the, what we used to call the toque is now called the holder is broken on one of the skates. Oh no. So we're like, he can make it a couple more games. I mean, come yeah. on. Yeah. So it's got a crack in it. Yeah. So I'm like, these, these skates are done, but he's gotten two years out of the skates. Well, they can put a new. Yeah. He said they could, holder. but it's such an old skate. That maybe the holder isn't as readily available as it once was. So now you're going to have to drop 350 on a new set of wheels. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know that we roll in that 350 category. These are still little. <laughs> oh, okay. They're still smalls. 299. Yeah. Yeah. 299 with the, <laughs> uh, with the, uh, heat compressed gel in them. Yes. Nice gel. That's a nice factor. Hey, we are coming off of the seventh or eighth debate by these I don't know. Cuckoo birds. I, I'm like, there was a basketball game on, but I don't know what was worse. The gopher basketball game or the debate. So I thought, you know what? Just for show. For prep. For the cast. I need to check out what's going on in this debate. So I turned the debate on. Mm-hmm. Did you watch any of it? I put myself through the same kind of hell. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I got a couple questions. Hit it. Are you or are you not able to run the largest country in the world if you don't know how to brush your teeth? I would say I know who you're talking about. Jesus. But I would say no. Could I have some of the yellow chiclets, please? <laughs> I mean, are you kidding me? What the flipping snots that guy up to, man? That is crazy. I uh I've never looked closely. Hold on, I gotta get, I gotta get a little all right, paper here. All right. Uh, I looked. I, I looked closely yesterday, and I'm like, it's ridiculous how bad his teeth are. So that was one of my observations. My next observation is this: you got to be 36 to be president. Yep. Is Buttigieg old enough? Like, I mean, does he have <laughs> enough life experience to be our our leader? No, he is. It, he came out of the womb. And they just said, how can we make you a president in 2020? Well. Because his whole life has been about trying to look presidential. And he's only made it as far as mayor? Yeah. Boy, old Klobuchar sure gave the shit yesterday. Well, he's ran for the DNC and for other things and gets beat. Well. So now he, he just said, he, why not just go for the big yeah, well, show? Yeah, just start at the top. <laughs> I uh, He's very well spoken. Yeah, but he doesn't say shit. But are you ready To have a president who's younger than you are, I don't think I'm ready for that. I I, I, I put a lot of thought into it. I I don't think I'm ready for that. I don't think there's a cat's chance in hell that he's going to be the president of the United States. Yet. Now, check back in like 12 years. You know, go do some living. Go Mm -hmm. grow up a little bit, kid. Go, go, Go get me a candy bar, kid. Yeah. So then we got Mrs. Klobuchar, Mm -hmm. which... I can tell you, I've mentioned her on the cast before. I'm not a fan. No. I think she's a good person, a hard worker. But she was put on the spot last night by Mr. Buttigieg. Buttigieg. And she was not able to handle that pressure very well. Not at all. You could just see her choking on her own tongue. It was bad. She got the hair shakes. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, she was going to bitch slap him. Got nasty. Couldn't. So, so I wonder that, if she had a stapler, if she would have thrown it at him. Oh, I'm sure Yeah, she's been known to do that. <laughs> yes. But I, I, I'm wondering if, uh, if, if you're under that little bit of pressure in a debate, 
Uh, do we really want, you know, I mean, come on. And then, and then the last two I'm going to talk about are Mr. Biden and Elizabeth Warren. Come on, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ, are they old? <laughs> oh my God. Come on, man. Joe Biden is so old and he is so old that he thinks that he can tell us that he comes from humble beginnings. And mm -hmm. he was poor until he wrote his book. Right. And now he's got a little bit of money. Yeah. Why doesn't he borrow some from his fucking kid who's making $90,000 a month? <laughs> and that makes sense to me. Yeah. Come on, you two. He can't even put a sentence together. No, he can't. Get the fuck off the stage. Sorry, that was an Effenheimer. Yep, it was. <clears throat> That's one demerit. That's one. So, so I took in the debate. Mm -hmm. and, and so my overall look is Bloomberg's the only shot they got. And he sucks. Well, but technically, isn't Bloomberg really just a more reserved per version of Trump? I mean, they talk so much about how they don't want a billionaire to run the country. I think if we look into Bloomberg's got a billions, I think Sanders is getting real close. No. Because we know we ain't spending it on dental work. <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> that is, that is like, like, I just want to go brush them. Cause it's, it's like, it's like when your lawn gets a little long and you mow it and you get that satisfaction that, man, I just cut the lawn. I feel like if you drug a toothbrush over his teeth, you'd get instant gratification. You'd be like, wow, wow. And the foaming, I mean, come on. So. How about the raising of the hands too all night? Oh, come like, on. That was like, such It's stupid. like they're in second grade, man. Who raises their hands? <laughs> and then and then Biden goes, I have to pee. Can I run to the can? I need a depends change. That dude is so old. I mean, come on. These I you could mark mark my word. Today is what? 2020. 2020. These people don't have a snowball's chance in hell. None. At going against the tiger. None. I mean, you put any one of those, maybe Bloomberg. Can hold Trump's jock, but the Trump will eat those other th those other six up. Just line them up. Let them all be candidates. He'll just chow them down. Yeah, he will. They can't handle that. The way that Klobuchar shit herself while while little Buttigieg, Buttigieg. Yeah, and, and it's probably off topic or a little racy, but I don't really I don't care one bit one way or the other. But I don't know if the country's really you know, the majority of the country is Democrat or Republican ready to have a first husband. No. I don't, well, I, I mean, I, and it hasn't been disclosed. And Does that's she have a husband? Buttigieg? Yeah. Oh, he's dual. <laughs> he's in a dual wiener situation. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he's gay and he's he? married. Yeah. You didn't know oh, that? No, I didn't know yeah. that. I was totally making fun of him. Yeah. That's funny. Oh, yeah. he is. Okay. Yeah. Huh. So I don't, <laughs> and I think it's too, I think it's too bad. I mean, I don't think that should matter one bit. But I don't Actually, think the country's I was ready for about that. Klobuchar. <laughs> I know you were. And then we find out that that uh, Buttigieg is a is a a gay guy. I didn't know that. I don't really yeah. care. Good for him. I think his husband's name's Chastin or something like that. Of course it is. Of course it is. Yeah, I don't know. I. I this is not a political show, but I'm starting to get a little frustrated. A little bit. Because when you sit and you make it, when you sit and you play to the, like, make people think, uh, they, uh, ugh, treat people like they're dumb. But where some people are going to believe it, and they are dumb for believing it. But do they really think that this reality show they're putting on called the Democratic Debate, people are believing this shit? They are. Like, my God, who are you kidding? How many times did Biden choke on his own tongue yesterday? Like, complete a sentence, dude. If Trump miss says, like when Trump screwed up the Kansas City thing, mm -hmm. they railed on him for like two days. Mm -hmm. I think it's important that on day one, day one, we deal with sending an immigration bill to the desk. The only person in here has the worst record on immigration is Bernie, because Bernie voted against the 2007 bill. All right. Had, Thank in you. fact, Thank that you. immigration bill passed, Thank there you, would be Mr. 10, Vice 6 million members okay. would be now American citizens. Biden couldn't even get a sentence out last night. Yeah, they won't attack a Democrat. Even his closing statement, he, he stepped on his own tongue. <laughs> Good God. Give me a break. So go Bloomberg. Go Bloomy. Maybe I should run for president. No. I think I'd do a better job. Bad idea. Bad idea. 
I don't know. I don't. I don't think so, dude. You'd have to get up in the morning. Well, here's you'd the have point. To put on a suit. You here's don't even the, own a suit. I own one. But here's the point. You wear that one every day. If by chance I would win. Same suit today, huh, Dave? Yep. I'd get a couple <laughs> extra. If by chance I won. You get a different tie. The nice thing is, is all the Democrats on the stage would support me. Because they sat and killed each other last night. Oh and God. some of them kept saying, but whoever wins, I'm going to support them. So you suck, you suck. You have no business being the president. You're horrible. Your plan sucks. You'll wreck this country. But if you win, I'm going to vote for you. You know what? Here's you. the thing. It's I, bullshit. I've been saying this from the beginning. That if one of these, what is there, seven up there? Six. If if one of these five stooges would say, hey, Amy, why did you run for your Senate seat knowing you were running for president and take this Senate seat that you've now been on the road for a, a year, year basically, pushing yeah. the, the presidential candidacy, which you're not going to win and not acting as a senator not that it's a huge job to be a senator you can totally you know work from afar if you have to right but why would you do that do you have no confidence that you're going to win she knew when she ran for that senate seat that she was going to be running for president absolutely so why wouldn't you say i'm going to step aside so that i can focus on being a candidate for president of the united states because you don't even think you can win she doesn't even think she can win her no. own No. so i mean get out of the race why are you in the race and Buttigieg, you know, with I, I totally agree. And then when they got in their little spat, <laughs> yeah, it was and awesome. he called her out for voting for Trump's judges. Yeah, she's voted for two thirds of Trump's federal judge appointments. You know, what? so she, I mean, he didn't lie about it. You can fact check it if you want. What about what's her name? Have we heard from her lately? AOC. No. Who's what's her name? AOC. Who gives a shit about her? She's uh, she's a has been. The Supreme Court judge that they've got somewhere propped up weekend at Bernie's. Ruth? Yeah. She just won a, some award. Did she show up to get it? She did. She didn't look well, but Hillary Clinton handed it to her. Oh, Christ. And I found it quite comical. Oh, Christ. How long till she gets in the race, you think? Hillary? Yeah. I don't know, but imagine if whoever asked her to be VP, what's their life expectancy? <laughs> they if they getting, don't win? No, it's, if it's, they win and she's the VP, how long are they going to be alive for? Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> they will get whacked. You're right. Well, and if it's Biden, that wouldn't be hard. I mean, no. Come on. <laughs> hey, speaking of which, um, two things that are really awesome that I heard. Well, no, one's awesome. One is not awesome. Uh, the not awesome is what about this lady who uh, is offering free photography for pregnant mothers at 39 weeks? For her portfolio. And the last one, she brought her daughter over with her to the photo shoot and told the lady, hey, we are uh, trying out these new recipes. Try all these cupcakes. And one of them had the, the GHB in it. And knocked her, because this lady wants to steal her baby. No. Yes. Has it ever crossed your mind that it would even be, how do you steal a child? I, I Especially had, one you, that's still in the hopper. No, how you steal a child. I mean, obviously they were going to wait for it to come out. So they just keep her GHB'd? I don't know. So I think the baby they, comes out they were like not crying because it's of the, GHB'd. They're getting copy of the, uh, uh, like making a copy of the house key and like checking shit out. Like they were planning to steal the baby. It's all over the news. Yeah. I don't, that's not. <clears throat> that's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. It choked me up. It's choked me up. I'm all the clamped. I don't know how yourselves. you even come to that agreement. <laughs> all of a sudden you show up and they're like, where did you get a baby? Like, where's the baby from? Come on. <laughs> I, I, oh, I carried it low. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I carried it low. It was a, it was a toilet drop. I, uh, you know. I didn't what? even know I was it's pregnant. Healthy. It's only been GHB'd once. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so then on the other side, the bright side. I saw a posting this week that these three high school kids have come up with a straw that you put in your drink and it'll yeah. recognize if it's been drugged. No. Yes. Let's invest in that gig. Jesus. Well, it, 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 it's gonna, I'm going to go off on a plastic straw tangent here. Uh-oh. Because I'm sure it has to be a plastic straw to make it work. But, you know, I was, I was. Uh, someone who was making a good point about um, 
something. Stealing and, babies. Well, stealing babies. Yeah, <laughs> stealing babies. No, the 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 straw yeah. epidemic. When uh, we're worried about the straws in the ocean killing yeah. the turtles. Well, meanwhile, there's tankers dumping toxic shit in the ocean and just paying the fines because it's cheaper, right. you know, than the disposing of it properly. But we're worried about straws. Right. You could take, this is uh, one of Andrew Santino's bits. You could take a hundred thousand straws and put them in the bathtub and I could play in that bathtub all day and I'm not going to get killed by a straw. No. So the fact that these turtles are dying from straws is ridiculous. So now they're on plastic bags. You can't have plastic bags at the store anymore to bring your goods home. Right. All the stuff I just bought, I have to bring home in a cloth bag. But when I'm in the produce section, I have to carry my apples in a plastic bag to get to the register. When I buy my bread, it comes in a plastic bag. Right. To get to the register. Right. Right? Yeah. How many products are on the shelves in grocery stores that are in plastic? Most. But I can't have a plastic bag to carry it to my fucking car. No. Come on, people. No. You Come can't. on. That's we got to think this through. No, we have thought it through. Let's think this through. You can't do it. Can't do what? You can get your Oreos. Well, number one. And your doodads and your Heath bars in plastic bags. But you can't carry them in plastic bags. Is it a double bag problem? Like when you double bag? <clears throat> I don't know. You can't have a bagged item in a bag? because it's, it's called making shit up. Is that over bagged? But who's benefiting from this? Like, like is there some lobbyist who's... Anti, I mean, how, how does this happen? I don't, they just make shit up. They God. just come with, they just come with stuff. Come now, do I think America. that we should use more recyclable plastics? Absolutely. Right. But that's a horse shit idea. Oh, for sure. I mean. How about getting all the syringes off the street in San Francisco ah, and San Diego and ah, Los Angeles and Seattle? You stop the crazy talk. In Portland. You stop the crazy how talk. How about we do that? So if I go around, if I, so if I'm in San Francisco. And I want to help clean it up because there's shit on the ground. Yep. There's uh, uh, paper straws on the ground. There's uh, needles all over the ground. Yeah. What, I got to fucking bare hand them? How am I going to carry it around? You I do. can't use a plastic bag. No, you cannot. Oh, God. Because I was going to help. I want to help. Right. But, but you don't want to touch have, that shit. If I don't have apparatus, well, I have to put plastic gloves on to pick up the shit. Yeah. But I, but I can't put it in a plastic bag. No. You stop making sense. And if you use gloves, you use two, by the way. You can only use one bag. Or you can't use a bag, but it would have just been one. You could have just done the old dog poop thing up yeah, where you wrap the bag yeah, around your hand. Go. Roll and go. But nope. Huh. huh. But you can use a paper bag so we can cut more trees down. Oh. But perfect. we're pissed that we're cutting trees down because trees take in carbon dioxide and give off oxygen. They help. But li- cut as many as you want for, plas- for paper bags. What a bunch of bullshit. It's total bullshit. Such a bunch of bullshit. I, um. They're making it up as they go. And people are believing it. They are. It's horrible. They don't even get questioned on it. It's horrible. I don't, uh, I don't know where it ends. I don't, I don't. I don't think it does. I don't, I'm I'm just telling you, I'm telling you one thing. This is a, this is a PSA right here. What do you got? Thank God the sun's been out for the last four days. Because oh. with the current climate of all this bullshit, <laughs> no son, you would have went. DK werewolf. would have had to uh, <laughs> dramatically increase his drugs. Hey, I did something the other day that I haven't done in a while. What'd you do? Two things actually. I went to a mall. Yeah. Because I'm like, hey, I want to go check out, you know, explore a Minnesota thing. So I'm like, there's supposed to be this big food court downtown that Andrew Zimmer's doing, and it didn't pop up. So there was one that popped up in. Rosedale. So I'm like, let's go to Rosedale. I can get my, my walk in around the mall and then we can go to that food court and check it out. And it's a cool food court. You know, they got whatever biscuits and waffles and boobity, boobity, boobity. I ended up having some noodle thing, like a Thai noodle thing. Was it was, good? it was decent. Yeah, it was decent. Um, but, uh, so then we leave there and I had to go downtown to find this Andrew Zimmer thing, which is supposed to be on the first floor of the old Macy's building. Mm-hmm. So I parked the hoopty. And, and as, you know, cause Minneapolis right now is not as safe as we would like it to be. Well, no. A lot of crunk, a lot of hoodlums. So I parked the hoopty on the side of the road, paying my meter. The wife's in the back with the door open, you know, adjusting stuff in her purse or whatever. Meanwhile, there's a dude like shaking down these two girls that are walking by to the point where I'm like, you know, this is weird. You know, like we, we haven't, I'm not even fully out of the car yet. So she's working on whatever. And I'm looking at it like, 
God, do I got to get involved? You know, but these girls were handling it all right. And the wife's over there adjusting the person. I'm like, does she not see what's going on here? So then I yell over to her. I'm like, just bring the Glock. I don't need the other one. <laughs> just the Glock. <laughs> so then she closes up the car and I make sure it chirps nice and loud as I walk away. Then I follow these kids to make sure that they shake this pile. He didn't talk to me. Go figure that out. Well, yeah. But then I'm walking on Nicolet to get down to the Macy's building. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I know it. So I'm looking around and there's cops everywhere. And I'm like, was the president in town? Why are there so many cops? And it, I think it's just because it's that bad down there. It is pretty bad. There down are there crazy lately. drug addicts just walking around screaming. This one guy, you know, and then that's the worst kind. I mean, when you see this guy sitting on his ass with a little sign that says, you know, change, please. I can handle that. You know, I can handle that. It's this, this nut job who's walking around swinging his arms, singing, screaming at the top of his lungs. You don't know what a person like that's on or what they're willing to do for whatever it is they're doing. But I'm like, I don't even want to be down here. Why would you want to go down there? Yeah. Mental illness plays a big giant part in that too. And it oh, is, sure. it is really sketchy and scary. Oh my God. I'm just like, this is not safe. Especially if you're like, like the daughter's got to go down there for a dance competition thing this weekend. I'm sending the wife. I'm like, you can't go by yourself. That is, you know, and she's going to park in a ramp and walk <laughs> in and send the wife instead of you. <laughs> yeah. She's quicker than I am. <laughs> okay. She's got quick hand speed. <laughs> I'm not afraid at all if she's down there. My daughter needs to be protected, so I'm sending the wife. Yeah. Well, there's a hockey game, dude. I mean, come on. It's it's like a parking ramp to Skyway to building. Right. <laughs> That'll be fine. But I don't want to miss that hockey game. No. no. <laughs> it's districts. Come on. Right. But no. Uh, so we're down there, and I'm just like blown away. I'm like, I am just blown away at how, because we went down there, the last time I was down there was about the time that that Super Bowl was here. Yeah. And, uh, and that was a couple of years ago and it was the same thing. I'm like, there's no stores open and there's just hooligans everywhere. Yeah. Like, what are these people doing? And, and, know. and, you know, I'm a big dude. I don't, you know, not a lot of this stuff really scares me, you know, but, I, but when you're uncomfortable because you don't, they don't want to get involved, you know, say I got to crack up one of these cracking freaking mutton maniacs, then I'm at fault. You know, then I'm down there picking on fucking the homeless or whatever. So I just got the hell out of there. I'm like, this is, uh, this ain't working. I got to go. Right. But I, I, so I, I struck out on two levels, uh, on the chow. So I'm like, Hey, you know what? Let's head over to the lucky cricket. Have you ever been to the lucky cricket? I don't think I have. So the lucky cricket is Andrew Zimmer's restaurant in West end. And that sign says happy hour three to five. It's two twenty five. Bam. I'm like, you know what? Let's walk around. Kill some time, capitalize on that happy hour. So listen to this. You talk about dumb people. I walk two blocks down and hang a right, and I'm going to go to another bar to kill time before I go back to the bar I want to go to. So I'm going to go pay retail at this bar for a drink so that I can save a buck at that bar for a drink. <laughs> right. Huh? Pretty huh? brilliant. Yeah. Racket science, baby. Brilliant. So, so I, uh, I'm in there and I'm like, Hey, you know what? Grab a spot. I'm going to go take a piss. So I'm peeing. And I see that they have a happy hour from three to five weekdays only. So mm -hmm. I say, you know what? I better call. They probably, they probably don't even have a happy hour today. <laughs> so I call him up and he goes, no, never on weekends. <laughs> no. We don't have a happy hour. Oh, so, this was a weekend. Yeah, it was on Sunday. I yeah, think. they don't do that. Happy hours after work. Well, the good places do. No, no, it was on Saturday because, okay, so let's just hold on, put your seatbelt on. So I, so I go find the wife. I'm going to go, listen up. This happy hour we're waiting for? Yeah. It ain't happening. They don't have it today. We're going to be here for a long time. So we blow out of that restaurant saying, well, we don't need to have the time kill drink. We can just go to the place where we wanted a drink. <laughs> so we get down there and I asked the guy, I'm like, why do you have a sandwich board out front that says happy hour when you don't have happy hour like it doesn't say weekdays only well then whatever so he, he just kind of blows it off so he says we don't have happy hour today but it's all day happy hour tomorrow i'm like are you <laughs> kidding me <laughs> so you missed it so i'm sitting in there and i like this place it's it's kooky it's weird but they have like 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 jimmy hendrix on on the music and then they have like Zeppelin and then like 
like serious guitar music and I'm just watching the wife's blood boil because she can't handle that. Right. It got to the point where I'm like, have we had enough of this, you know, walk back to the seventies? Like let's put on some light listening music. Cause there's like six people in the whole place because it's midday and they don't have happy hour. Right. But you know what I had? Nope. I had dry fried eggplant with some kind of spicy pixie dust on it. What's the next segment? <laughs> what? I'm out. Dude, it was so good. No. It was so good. I'm going to take you there. It no. was so good. I'm telling you, I don't know. They cut the, the eggplant the long way. Really? And then it had this fancy. How orange. else do you cut the eggplant? Tuk, 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 tuk. Oh. You know, circular so they slices. Sli- so they, they, they cut pickle it. Pickle sliced. They wedged it. Yeah, it was wedged. Total oh. wedged. Yeah. But you got like a whole Lincoln log pile. Like there mm-hmm. was probably eight of them on there. Yeah. I mean. I'm a big fat guy and I had trouble eating all eight of them because the wife had like two, but it was really good. We should go there someday during happy hour. Not with the, for the eggplant. Do they have anything good? They had all kinds of good stuff. We had uh, lettuce wraps. <laughs> what do you just eat? Fucking straight motor oil, dude. You just <laughs> yeah. it's badass all day. <laughs> I'm a carnivore. <laughs> <laughs> There's meat in lettuce wraps. Oh, what? Come on. It was D man. I was, I was, but I had oh, something else too. Was it epi? Mm, the, the eggplant things were, man. They were killer. Oh boy. I'm going back for them. I'll try one. I'll go back on a happy hour. I'll try one. Whoa, do they serve them on happy hour? Yeah. yeah. You all, check that all, all out. All the apps are discounted at happy hour. All we right. should go there today. We should go no, there right now. It's no. happy hour there right now. No, can't. Why? Because I got things I'm doing, oh, man. Bullshit, dude. You are not. You're free the rest of the afternoon. Hey, I got some. Uh, I got some non-food, uh, non-political questions to ask. All right, go. I love these. What about your uh, Minnesota Wild? <sighs> we do a player drop. We get rid of a pretty substantial player. Mm-hmm. Can't think of his name right now, but we Zucker. Did. Zucker. Yeah. Zucker sent him packing. Yeah, we did. And then we do a coaching change. We did. Mid, mid, whatever. So my question is this. Number one, if I'm a professional hockey player, which I'm very close to being, (laughs) what exactly does a head coach do for a hockey team? Like when my Bantam twos are out there, the coach is skating, he's showing them stuff. But if I'm playing, I'm a, I'm Zach Parisi. I'm a 10 year pro. What are you going to show me? Like, how does this coach know more about the game than someone who's been playing for 10 to 12 years? Well, they don't show them, probably don't show them a lot of skating and skill stuff. They have coaches, they have a skating coach and skill coaches that help them with things like that. They manage the flow of the game mostly and the game plan, and they manage the matchups against the other team's lines. But if they I, manage, but if I have, but if I have, a, how many are on a team? 22, 25? Yeah. If I got 25 guys that are professional hockey players, mm-hmm. that means that if there's, what is there? 30 teams, mm-hmm. 30 teams, 25 guys. So, so say you got, say you got a thousand players in the whole league. Best players in the world. Yeah. Best players in the world. That means that there's 250,000 kids who didn't make it. Right. And you're going to teach these kids something about the game. Absolutely. All right. Well, you're managing the game. Plus you're dealing with all those egos. I mean, come on. Is that like, like people who deal with bands and shit? Oh Yeah. <laughs> and then you go, then you got to tell him to go beat somebody up. I mean, he's got one of the, do they really point out fights? Like go get him. You know what? They probably don't have, they might. I mean, I know for a fact they do it sometimes go kick his ass. Really? Or go fight him. Yeah. Kick my his team, ass, sea bass. My t- they put Ogie Oglethorpe out there and just go, let's go. Drop the gloves. Yep. Drop the gloves. So, yeah. so if, if, okay. So you're saying that the coach plays a part. A system part of it. Yes, absolutely. So how long do I have to wait to see results with the new coach? A like, long time. We like don't we have the players. That, we played the game the same day and and they didn't win. No, they won last night though. So I'm not sure it was a great deal. Well. Did they, they didn't win last night. Yeah, they did. Oh, the Gophers lost. That's what it was. So, uh, uh, so we got two first round draft picks coming up though, right? Yep. So could we turn this around? We can, and then we have, uh, oh, man. This guy at least looks like a coach. Our other coach looked like me. Yeah, but our other coach will be a head coach next year somewhere. Well, that's fine. Obviously, he can't do it because he couldn't do it here. Why could he do it there? Well, if they actually have hockey players there. Oh! We do. We do not have 
very skilled. We have, mm, we're not that good. We're not very deep at all. We're not very good at all. I've been, you know, our top four guys, well, our top four paid guys add up to $24 million. Wow. Okay. And they're minus 41. That means for every time they're on the ice, they've been scored on 41 times more than they've scored. They're minus 41. <laughs> and that's our top <laughs> players. It sounds like a good investment. It's a horrible investment. <laughs> you know, this is Darren with weinvestyourmoney.com. <laughs> right. That's a bad investment. <laughs> a I, bad uh, investment. I don't know. Um, you know, I don't know that much about the game. I do like watching it. I might even go to a game here one of these days. Yeah. And uh, I, I I don't know. You know, I've been getting into a little uh, NHL on the Xbox. Oh, are you getting skilled? Y- you know what? The kid came home with it, and I've been thinking I should learn how to play some games so that we can hang. Father-son you know? time. Yeah, bonding. Yeah. And uh, he's all over it. But what we do is we play NHL 19, I think I have, and uh, we play mascots. Oh. Three on three mascots, and uh, he he goes and plays games to uh, unlock more mascots. So we finally got Nordy unlocked. Oh yeah, and I play Western teams. He plays the Eastern teams. That Nordy is so good. Is he, he is so fast? Is he killer? Seriously, like it looks like he's running, but he almost like Sonic the Hedgehog kind of movement. This dude is fast. He's quick. Have you been winning? Well, I, I don't want to get into details right now, okay? <laughs> okay? I'm just giving you an overview, letting you know that I'm dusting off the controller, getting back in the swing. I used to play a lot. I used to play a lot of the NHL on the old PlayStation or oh, whatever it was. That's <laughs> just awesome. <man. laughs> but I, 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 I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's really, uh, God, the graphics and the, it's like real, you know, it's, and I've, this is 19. I don't even have 20. But it's uh, <laughs> it's like legitimate stuff. And you know who my goalie is? Who? Dubnik. Oh. Like there's only two that I can choose from. Although the son has, my son has two that he can choose from. And one of his goalies doesn't even wear a mask. And like when they show his picture, it's black and white. Like is they don't even Gump Worsley. I don't know. Oh, look and see if they it don't is. even have a. They don't even have a current photo of this person. It's such an old hockey player. It could be Gump Worsley. Old I'll, North Stars goalie that played with no mask. That's ballsy as Back hell. Back in the day. I'm I'm going to stop pucks with my face and not wear a mask. Was ballsy. That is That's ridiculous. real man's man stuff right there. Hey, we got, uh, we got, uh, that, uh, the, we got a promo that we're running. Let's do it. The, uh, the good folks at NRD Landscape Design Build. Have thrown some home show tickets our way. We've got a lot of local Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota listeners. Yeah. So what they've done is they've given us a few sets of tickets to uh, to hand out um, because they obviously are at the show. They got a great booth, good stuff. So you want to go visit them, but you want to go for free. And the way to do that is to give us a review. Hop on whatever platform you're listening to the podcast on. Give us a full review. Take a screenshot of that, send it, tag a bunch of people that we can send the podcast to, to be potential listeners. Yeah. We're looking to grow and this is one way we're going to do it. Can and I you get to go to the I, home show? Can I be in on it? <laughs> oh, 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 uh, no. I, <laughs> scratch yeah, that. I'm just going to say, you know what? You can, because I know you're not going to do anything scratch about that. it. Scratch you're that. our worst, uh, you're our worst social media person. No, uh, I am on, not. On the crew. Oh, I. I got that under, under wraps. So we, uh, anyway, we, uh, want everybody to go check, uh, you know, if you're going to the home show and you don't have my free tickets cause you didn't win and you still go, go check out the folks at NRD landscape design build. They've got a booth and, uh, they go all out every year. I love going over there and, and schmoozing with the boys cause they, uh, they put on a nice spread, a hell of a company. So go check them out. But in the meantime, we need everybody to give us a review uh, five stars is fine. You know, you don't it need to go any six. higher than that. This, this one's got 11. <laughs> uh, but, you know, uh, do that and take a screenshot of it and send it over to us. And if you can tag some people along the way, that might increase your odds of winning those tickets. So hurry up. We're running out of time. We're going to uh, make some decisions probably Wednesday is when the show starts. So perfect. We will uh, we'll have an answer by then. I, uh, I'm working on a little special guest from the home show. 
So we'll see how that works. Awesome. We'll see how that works. But yeah, so go check it out. NRD Landscape Design. Thanks for the tickets. Boom. Back to the show. Here we go. So Let you, me, you go. Can I ask you a question? What's the craziest thing Isn't you've that heard? A question? Can I ask you two questions? All right. What's the craziest thing you've heard in the last week? Like you just had to stare at somebody and think for a second if you actually got what they just said to you right. <laughs> Hmm. I don't talk to a lot of people. Yeah, nothing. Because I don't like people. Nothing comes to mind? No, but it might. You tell me yours. I'm at a funeral Saturday. Oh, that's right. And it's Jerry Kopecky's, and he is a uncle of my wife's. Did you find out if that's Gene Kopecky's dad? I did not. I will, though. There's a bunch no, of- it, it's not Gene Kopecky's dad. I know that. Oh. All the, there's no Gene and the children thing. But, <laughs> but so were you with the fam? I'm with the family, the daughter, the son, the wife, and then all the extra relatives. Everybody's there, and we're not having a great time, but it's nice to see Did everybody. Did you have some of that salad you like so much? I didn't. We had to boot out of there right what? after the funeral. Where'd you have to go? The tuna salad, little tuna yeah, ring salad. Little tuna rings? <laughs> no, but I did go check. I'll have in, an extra uh, scoop of that tuna salad. I did go check if they had it, and they didn't. So I was cool. All right, I would have got it to go play. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute now. Set the table. You drove to Milwaukee yeah. for a funeral. Yeah. And you didn't stay for the free chow? No. Is this all because they didn't have the tuna salad? Tuna a salad. A little bit. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So what did you have? Okay, what did you have to do? The boy had to get back to school for an event. Saturday night? Yeah. Jesus. But let me lay this on you. All right. So we're sitting there and we're doing the funeral thing. My daughter looks at me. Who is a junior in high school? Junior in high school, Josephine. And she looks at me and she goes, Dad, yeah, I don't know. Um, This funeral, when I die, I want my funeral to be more of a a murder mystery theme. (laughs) (laughs) She's doing a theme? She's doing a theme funeral. She wants a theme funeral. I love it. And so I was shocked because I'm thinking, die, you, my daughter, idea. that's not happening. But then I thought for a second, and then she starts explaining to me a murder mystery theme funeral while I, we're doing a funeral. Uh, and that was my most shocking thing. It, and I literally looked at her for about 30 seconds. I uh, <laughs> didn't even know what to say. I don't know where you go with it. You know, funerals are kind of a drag. They are. Kind of a drag. Actually, I think we've moved a lot more towards just uh, cremating people and keeping it as light as possible. Jerry was cremated. We don't want anybody to have an emotion. We don't want anybody right. to have a feeling. But if you turn it into a murder mystery game? I don't know. How do you do it? Put a like a little done. thing under well, everybody's Obviously, chair. we know who died. Right. It was Jerry. Who did it? <laughs> who done it? You'd have to plan it way ahead so they never came out what happened. So then you had to figure it out. Well, no, you could just overlook the fact that he died of old age and just say, you know what? Jerry was murdered and we need to know how it <laughs> we happened. We need to know who did it. Yeah. One of you grubby bastards in the audience <laughs> is guilty as shit and you're not getting any tuna salad. <laughs> right. Dude, I'm telling you, this that's could be a, a million mil- dollar idea. Correct. Theme funerals. funerals. Yep. You could do like a showgirl one. You know, with girls dancing. Yeah. Music, a little light listening music. Right. Maybe a hot dog bar. What was Jerry's favorite <laughs> full show girl? <laughs> now on the main stage, Jerry's, Jerry's favorite. favorite. <laughs> Cinnamon. <laughs> right. I'm telling you, dude. You might, oh. Josie might be a visionary. She is a visionary. She might be a visionary. I, uh. <laughs> Isn't that something though? I don't know. That is no. outstanding. Mm. <laughs> I'm just, oh. What was your rea- what did, How did you feel that from her? The, fir- the fir- like I am trying to explain it now. Like, <laughs> the first thing out of my mouth was what? I'm not sure we can do that. I just I'm like what? I think um, I think I don't think anything as strange has happened to me this week, other than those eggplant. No, we've been there. Oh, you know what I had yesterday. No. I double dined out yesterday. So yesterday I went to this new place called Thai Express. Now, if you're making Thai food, should you be Middle Eastern or from Thailand? You should be from Thailand. Because I think she's Middle Eastern. Okay. 
beside the point. I don't care. Whoever makes the slop, as long as it's good slop. So there's like this new area of Maple Grove that has all these neat little restaurants, right? Okay. So I'm like, we're going to go to Crisp and Green and get some soup and salad. And I'm like, let's try the Thai Express. Let's get on the Thai train. So we rolled in there. No one else in there. It was relatively new, but it was uh, like a two o'clock lunch. So I ordered me some pad. Th- or no, she orders yellow curry. And the lady goes, mild, medium, or hot? And the wife says? Hot. Medium. Oh. Which is hot in her book, because she goes, she's mild. Okay. Mild all day. I'm like, what are you doing? It was her birthday. So she was getting maybe spiced getting a little up. spicy. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, you know what? Give me the pad thai. Medium. So that we could swap it out, you know? Because yep. I like to I like to graze. Yeah. Then I ordered the soup and whatever. And the guy goes, here, and he hands me this thing, and it's just like, felt like the fucking cup is hot. He's got like the spice in there. He's want to add spice. Because Thai can get down. I mean, you can get some serious hot yeah, Thai. Yeah, I, I, I hate curry, though. It's trash. But whatever. Keep what the fuck do you eat? <laughs> How do you maintain that girlish figure of yours? <laughs> I, uh, I, 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 I enjoyed it. It was good. So then I, I, uh, we're going out to dinner and we slide over to the iron express new brew pub in maple plain. All right. Awesome setting. Got a big glass windows where all the brew tanks are huge bar. I bet they can seat 75 to hundred at the bar, like huge bar. And then they have like a little stage, got some neon lights in the tank area. The food was Good. Okay. Yeah. I ordered a burger and there was a lot of oil or grease from something. Like there was a sauce on it that I think might've been like a, like a vinegar sauce or something. Yeah. So that kind of freaked me out. And the kid got chicken wings and it's like the whole chicken wing, you know, not just a drummy or a, yeah. it was like the whole thing. And he didn't like that. Yeah. So then I told the lady, I'm like, you know, cause, cause honestly, full disclosure, I will own a wing joint probably in the next 10 years. Like the kid is going to own a wing joint. That's his life. Okay. He knows chicken wings. He makes his own. All right. Like every day he makes chicken wings. He like, he's got his own recipes and shit. He's an eighth grader. But, uh, so I told the lady, I'm like, you know, there's something wrong with these wings. They're not, they're not right. You know, and he's a professional and she didn't, she, oh, sorry about that. That was it. I'm like, do you want to know what the problem is? Sorry about that. Well, no. And I'm like waiting for her to go, well, we can bring you something else or we can comp it or whatever. Oh, nothing? No. Sorry about that. They just charged you yeah. for them. Yeah. I'm like, so I, you know, whatever. I'm not going to fucking bitch. I don't care. I'd rather blast around the podcast. Right. I'd rather wait to bitch on the podcast. Get her. <laughs> um, so we uh, ended up having a dessert and it was decent. It was a decent little place. I think I would go back. The burger, the pizza, Detroit style pizza, which means nothing right but it's like a deeper dish who cats it looked good i wish we would have got pizza but we didn't it was a burger night but it was really cool but yes yeah, so a double restaurant yesterday after i tried to do three on saturday <laughs> i'm knocked back on the horse you know what i still have not had sushi since i said i was off sushi oh that's, really that's true you know what i i lied i went to crave a couple weeks ago <laughs> figured so and i, I love one, crave i had one roll you know what's right next to crave the lucky cricket dude yeah you could roll in for some spicy eggplant i know where it is i, I just i've never been to it we God, dude you gotta get out of this area more often i mean come on unless i'm doing something music wise i do not go on that side of 494 dude i'm with the band yeah why and then by the way i'm out of there the second the band's done oh <sighs> Dude, you're so upper level. I'm just, no, I'm just more so comfortable level. out here in the country. Out here in the sticks. Bird, I'm more dear, 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 dear. I'm telling you, dude, you got issues. You got problems. I might have a few. You got problems. I guarantee you I have a bunch of them. Hey, uh, you know what else I got to tell people about? What? 4886 Bartlett Boulevard, Mound, Minnesota. Fully rehab turnkey house on the market. Mm. If you're looking or know somebody who's looking, check it out because it is uh <laughs> ready to go is it a nice one ready for your stuff yeah it's really nice priced at uh 324.9 oh and it's that's less than 325 
lake views, double lot, two car garage, room for expansion. But you don't have to do anything. It's turnkey. New everything. Sweet. New heater. 4886 Bartlett Boulevard, Mound, Minnesota. New central air. Go check it out. Heater's fine. That's two commercials today. I'm telling you, live reads, baby. That's what we do. Live reads. I tell mm. you who the realer is, but you know, <laughs> he's a good dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good dude. Anyway, we got to wrap this biatch up. Yep. So we need everyone to get out there and do a review. Take yes, two minutes do. out of your busy schedule. Give us a review, five stars, whatever you Where feel Where do they necessary. find the review? Give us some feedback. You know, it just depends on which uh, platform you're looking at. If you're in the, uh, if you're in the uh, Apple podcast one, if you just go to your library, scroll down, it'll say you want to leave a review. Uh, Google Play, I'm guessing, is somewhat the same. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, search around, you'll figure it YouTube's out. YouTube's just on the bottom in the YouTube, comment section. Yep, yep. yep. Hit it. We're going to start doing some more with YouTube here. That is, uh, that We're going to start happening. filming these too, huh? I am, but I can't, I got to dress up my studio. I, uh, yeah. I don't have any, uh, uh, anything on the walls. I got to pretty up the studio before we do it. So, uh, but do that, get a, give us a review, send a, a couple of, uh, links to some friends to get them hooked on the podcast. Uh, we're going to keep rolling, keep putting shows out. So we need you, uh, to help out a little bit with some reviews and, uh, and we'll keep coming back week in, week out. Stay tuned. We may have a special guest next week. Can't I don't want to jinx it cause I'm overly superstitious, but anything can happen. So until then, stay tuned, tell a friend, take care. Peace. That's it. That's the end. That's a wrap. Read the shtick. That's a wrap for today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe and tell all your friends. If you'd like to reach out, you can use the studio line at 612-504-6500 or by email, the DK Project Podcast at gmail.com. And of course, there's always social media at the DK Project Podcast. Thanks for tuning in.